right, elbow deep in this thing, putting a blue spring kit on it. You only have to remove the fuel line here, but the hose for the gas bottle, your air filter and the tube and your intercooler tube that goes down, remove it, but that's all you got to remove. Uh, I looked up online, I couldn't find anything about this. It's supposed to be flush. And with the O-ring and all, it's going to have pressure. You're going to have to push it in there a pretty good bit. I used a backside of a wooden scraper. But uh, I took it apart, cleaned it, got all my new pieces in there. You do not have to change the housing, the boy said. He said, you pay for it, so you get it. But uh, it's the only problem that they see failing is this gasket right here, O-ring. And the two new O-rings go here and here. He said, sometimes he don't even replace them. He said, the main thing that wears is the o-ring that goes up against the stopper and that little piece up there that's the benefits supposedly but i'm assuming the spring's weaker to let more fuel to up the pressure on it but dug the old parts out gonna keep them except this ain't reusable it was in there stuck good so the little o-ring goes on the back of it here to push it in and then all the other three is the gasket here and the o-ring on the inside of the pipe and where the pipe meets up line so I didn't know if the depth was different he said there's no difference on them so it'll save you some time if all you do is you plunger in that bottom piece and uh, if you gotta change your o-rings change your o-rings but if you don't take it off here ain't no need to change it except for that one unless it's leaking but I'm gonna get it buttoned up and uh, I didn't drain my radiator. That last one right here is a little tricky. But take a small bit, a pair of ice grips, and just turn it a little bit at a time. Or get you an open end boxed in wrench and put on it, ratchet wrench. More than one way to skin a cat. And looks like I'm gonna probably have to have a turbo because I'm getting a lot of oil blow out and go through the intercooler. I don't know about how much, but I'm getting oil to go through it, so just an oil change. Got insurance on it, get a tag on it tomorrow, hopefully, and drive it a little bit if I get this finished up. Appreciate it.